this all started around noon today at Yes Prep Southwest Secondary School. And we now know the identity mm -hmm. of the school administrator who was shot. The school confirms Principal Eric Espinosa was taken to the hospital after being grazed by a bullet. Mm -hmm. This all unfolded at the entrance of the school on Anderson Road near Hiram Clark. We have team coverage on the shooting and the investigation that's now underway. We begin with our Mario Diaz live right outside the school. Mario? Everything appeared to be normal here at Yes Prep until 1146 this morning. And when the sudden blast, it changed everything for this Friday, creating frightening moments for students, faculty, and parents. It's just so shocking that people would want to cause things like this. It's, it's just, it's just crazy. Chaos unleashed at Yes Prep in Southwest Houston shortly before noon. He gained entry by shooting through a glass door. Houston police say a gunman shot through the front doors before shooting Principal Eric Espinosa in the back. Espinosa suffered a graze wound and is on a quick road to recovery without an overnight stay at the hospital, according to the school. The suspect was armed with a rifle. Uh, he was a 25-year-old black male, former student of the school. The gunman surrendered quickly without injuring any of the more than 1,000 students on campus. I was hiding under my teacher's desk. Giovanni Alvarez describing what he went through and what he saw after reuniting with his mother. There was blood and glass all over the place. Brian, his classmate, shedding tears with his father after finally connecting. For several minutes after the shooting, there was uncertainty as students tried to find their parents after experiencing the unexpected. We were thinking that we, we couldn't die right there. I didn't know what was going to happen, if I was going to be able to come out and be able to see him again. But once the students connected, the value of life and loved ones hit home. It was the happiest I've been in a long time. Yeah, Brandon Lopez was not the only one celebrating with his parents. There were so many, so many children who were embracing their mom and their dad or another loved one, just happy to once again see them while they're alive. It's the very latest here in Southwest Houston. Mario Diaz, KPRC2 News. Life is indeed precious, Mario. Thank you. As we mentioned within the last 30 minutes, we have learned that the administrator shot was the school's principal. KPRC2's Brandon Walker live in the Texas Medical Center tonight with the newest information about him. Brandon? And Dominique, you are right about life being precious. Yes, prep confirming the principal's name as Eric Espinosa. They also tell us that he was grazed in the back by a bullet, as my colleague Mario Diaz just mentioned. But the good news here, Dominique, is that Mr. Espinosa, according to Yes Prep, is expected to be released from the hospital tonight. I want to get a picture of him on the screen and tell you a little more about what we've learned about him within the past half hour or so since the confirmation of his name. He's long been affiliated with the Yes Prep family. Family. Having worked as a teacher and administrator, he's also, guys, a 2003 graduate of Yes Prep himself, according to Yes Prep from Houston. A look at the scene this morning as fright overcame Yes Prep Southwest Academy. It was students who told us Mr. Espinosa confronted that gunman. Now, those details of what transpired and how, they're few, and we're still working to confirm Mr. Espinosa's actual interactions this morning. But multiple students told us it was was he, Mr. Espinosa, the school's principal, who protected them, likely saved their lives tonight, their heart, with him and his family? As I was walking into the office, I seen there was glass shattered, blood. So me thinking, my principal got shot, he did, uh, trying to save, trying to protect us. That's destiny, a student thinking about what they had to experience this morning, also thinking about all that they had to process and the fact that it was their principal who stepped into the action to save their lives, added significance to the notion that educators do, in fact, save lives. A quick recap again, Mr. Espinosa, Eric Espinosa, is expected, according to Yes Prep, to be released from the hospital tonight, grazed in the back by a bullet, sighs of relief collectively tonight. Live at the Med Center, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News. Yeah, that's great news, Brandon. Thank you. Our team coverage continues now with the latest on the suspect who does remain in police custody tonight. Our Andy Sirota live in Southwest Houston with details on the man who was arrested. Andy? Chris, we're still working to learn more about this suspect, who he is, his name, and a possible motive. Houston police tell us that investigators are questioning that accused gunman tonight. 
The 25-year-old accused gunman blasted his way into the school around 11.45 this morning, shooting through a glass door at an entrance. A thousand students were inside the building at the time. Once inside, he opened fire on a school administrator, striking the victim in the back. The 25-year-old accused gunman is a former student, police say. Houston Police Chief Troy Finner says once officers got inside the school, they found the gunman who was armed with a rifle and he surrendered without incident. A motive for the shooting remains under investigation. Chief Finner tells us this could have ended so many different ways and that it could have been a lot worse. He commended the students, the faculty, and the staff for how they reacted and responded during this active shooter situation. Reporting live tonight in Southwest Houston, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Andy.